Hey everybody, Sam back once again and today we're going to talk Nexus 4. I'm going to break this video down into little individual videos but I'm also going to put this one video up as a, as a big long one for everyone that wants to see it as well. So, let's talk Nexus 4. Enjoy. So yeah, first off the bat, I'm going to I said, I'm going to discuss all of the options with regards to the Nexus 4, so I'm going to give you individual kind of questions with regards to the battery life, what I think of the screen technology, is it fast, does it overheat, etc. And then I'm going to split them into individual videos because people want to know individual stuff as well. So you've got a choice. If you want to watch the individual ones, you can do. If you want to watch this whole big one, you can do as well. So, let's first let's talk about the build quality. So, the build quality on the Nexus 4, everyone's like, Sam, is it good? It's made by LG. Come on, it can't be good. It must be really, really bad if it's made by LG. Well, you obviously saw me unboxing video, and I was super impressed by just how how good it felt. Yes, it's got glass in the front, glass in the back. I'm not, not a massive, you know, it's not a massive uh, issue for me personally. Just for the fact that people are going, yeah, well, you laughed at people who dropped their iPhone. I laugh at people who dropped these as well. So yeah, the iPhone 4, 4S, had a glass front and the back. I laugh at people whether they drop the Nexus device, whether they watch their iPhones, just don't drop your device and you'll be fine. You know, keep people get saying, oh, well, what if I just drop it down, what if I just put it on a table, is it going to scratch, is it going to crack? Not an issue at all with my Nexus 4 so far. Again, I've only had it for three days, so this is more of an initial impressions than a full review, so don't be expecting a full review in this one just today. You know, the build quality itself is absolutely fantastic. I've not really felt much of a better phone in all honesty in terms of Android build quality. The only one that comes that's basically up there is HTC. Uh, apart from that, this LG Nexus 4 is probably one of the best built phones I've ever personally had. Personally. It sounds a bit weird, strange, strange to say it like that, I get my words out, but yeah, build quality is absolutely fantastic. So that's it people, that is everything Nexus 4. What do you think? Are you impressed by what I've said so far? I tried to cover off the major points that most people keep asking. Obviously those are the build quality. You know, it's LG, is it going to be bad? So build quality, I've also covered off the camera quality, the screen quality. Does it get hot? What's the experience like? You know, hopefully that's enough for what you know people want to know for now. I'll try and include everything else in my full review. Do leave comments down below with regards to, you know, what else you want me to cover off and I'll do my best to do it. Again, this is probably the same ending for like four or five videos, but yeah, it is as it is. It's, I've tried to do it to kind of cover off for everybody, individually and as one as well. Hopefully you appreciate that. I don't know. Anyway, people, thank you for watching. If you've got any questions related to Nexus 4 or anything else, or if you want to put it head-to-head against another device, leave it know, let me know down below. Do you want to put it head against the S3, the iPhone 5, or the new Lumi 920, which I'm getting in for review as well soon? You know, again, let me know down below. And again, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at Sam J. Pullen. Always get that cheap plug in there. And if you're not subscribed, do hit the subscribe button. I'm also I'm almost hitting 20,000. And when I do, the great giveaway will begin. So yeah, that's it, people. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Or you should have said, you'll see me. Yeah. Cheers, everyone.